Hi there, this is Mladen Jovanovic from Complementary Training and in this video I'm gonna walk you through Annual Planner for Sports Google Sheets version. This is a stripped down version of the Annual Planner for Sports which you can find on the link underneath this video. So it's a full feature product that allows you to plan uh, and monitor training load and um, some testing and do a simple uh, analytics. And But this version is just a stripped down version that can work on this fantastic application called Google Sheets. The benefit of this application is that allows you to uh, share the data, uh, sh actually share the sheet, and it allows multiple people to, to work on it at the same time. And you can see the, the real, real time changes and comments uh, or anything, which, which, we're gonna see, uh, which we're gonna soon see. Anyway, before, before going on, um, you probably got this link as a, as a member on a complementary training, what you need to do first is you need to log in with your Google account, go to a file, and then uh, click on a, make a copy. Because this, this version you can only view, you cannot change it. So you need to make a copy of this, and then once you have your own copy, uh, you can click on a share. In this case, this is a link, which is a public link, and anyone with this link uh, which is you, the, the, the member of the complementary training, can see and you can only edit, uh, actually you can only view this file. So you can use the same technique, you can, uh, you can invite people, uh, maybe assistant coaches, and then um, you, can, you can give them um, permission to edit and things like that. So you can change, change only specific people can access this, um, you can create it public, whatever you want. Uh, hopefully you're not going to make it public, so um, just keep it to your to your um, um, stuff. So anyone with the link can can view. Click done. Now you have a, a link that you can share to your collaborators, and you can edit it at the same time. Anyway, um, I'm currently logged in on my iPad as well. Unfortunately, you cannot see the screen, but it's pretty much same as this one. Um, I also have a Google Sheets. Um, application on the iPad which allows me to edit this in a real time so I can do this on a pitch I can do it anywhere so it's quite quite interesting application which could be used to uh, also do this annual planning but also you can um, collect some data from the athletes real time and the data is uh, directly in the sheets or in a database and hopefully in, a, in the near future I'll show you how to pull that data to uh, from Google Sheets to a Power BI and you can do some analytics Anyway, this is a same old familiar um, annual planner. So without any drop downs, any links, the first thing you need to do is to set up the uh, starting date. If you select say Friday, so let's say Friday, it's gonna, uh, it's gonna uh, recognize the day. Um, for example, in some countries the week the week starts with Sunday, so we might go with the uh, first, and it's going to update. Same thing for months. That, that's the first thing you need to do. Uh, then we have weeks uh, and microcycle. Week is a week in a year, and microcycle is just um, um, a first, second, third, fourth, and fifth. And similar to, actually same as annual planner, um, the, the full feature application, you can write the uh, match run. So can be friendly, um, opponent one, same thing for a training camp, for example, I'm just going to write one, two, three, four, it's, it's immediately color coded. Um, so once you do this, if you switch to a calendar, you can immediately see um, what you have planned for that microcycle. And again, it's automatically updated. So you can use, you can write the starting time for any particular activity. Um, and things like that. So you can use this to actually plan uh, the weeks in more details or, or the sessions. The good thing is that you have a quick indication that something is happening in that week. So um, if, you, if you write some of the events here, you're going to see them in a calendar view as well. 
Uh, anyway, we have a couple of components. We have a skill, strength, power and speed, conditioning or energy system development, and recovery and nutrition. So for each we have, um, um, you can define phase and subphase. Microcycle type could be uh, loading, unloading, uh, maintenance, whatever you want to call it. Number of sessions in that week. Um, so again, that's the same for all, all these components. And uh, you can actually name your component yourself. So for, you can use this in a, a numerous ways. The good thing is you can also delete them and you can also add new columns. So this could, this could be attacking, defending, uh, set pieces, um, could be um, game plan or strategy, whatever you want to call it. So say this is attacking. So you might work on uh, attacking from the side for a couple of weeks. Uh, and then merge, I think this is a merge. Okay, so attack from the side, you can give it a color. And you can use this to plan. Uh, another thing you can also use, uh, these components could be uh, groups within your squad. So it could be defenders, could be attackers, uh, or could be you know junior players, senior players. Uh, for example, in, in a strength, you can say that um, um, say junior players might work on a hypertrophy, or you can be more prescriptive, um, and senior players might, for example, use uh, lower number of reps. Again, this could be. Uh, particularly for a strength example, this could be, um, say, squat, bench, pull-up, assistant, whatever. So you can use this any way you want. It could be, it could be objective. Um, for example, hypertrophy, max strength, power, assistant. It could be method. It could be uh, maximum effort, um, sub-maximal effort, repeated effort, dynamic effort, whatever you want to call it. Or it could be groups. Or even it could be um, single individuals. So if you're if you have a small squad, uh, you can put the names of the individuals here and then um, put the big constraints here. So in terms of competition calendar and travel, that, that's applied to a whole squad. And then um, you can write the individual athletes or subgroups in the component sections. So that's, that's pretty much it when it comes to annual plan. It's quite simple. Um, you can also use uh, comments. So let me see. I think you right click. You can insert note or insert comment. So every time you, you slide over, it's gonna pop up. So it's quite useful if you wanna uh, be more prescriptive uh, for a particular component. So same thing for a calendar, you can use notes, you can use comments, uh, you can review comments, um, you can see what other commented and things like that. So anyway, as you can see, I'm, I'm logged in, logged in as a complementary training, uh, but I also logged in uh, from my iPad using the above link. Uh, anyway, so I'll show you how that looks like if I, I'm gonna edit it on my iPad. So I might, I might type in, actually I cannot edit, that's the thing. I need to change it. So let me see, share. Done. So as you can see, I'm editing at the moment. Um, so I'm gonna add match one. And you can see that immediately changed. Um, I might put a comment here. Uh, let me see. So I made a comment, or I'll try to put a note as well. And you can see on the screen that I'm editing a particular cell. So, so I wrote test here and I put a comment here. Please put three here. 
So that's what I did from my iPad. And a lot of athlete, uh, a lot of coaches can do this at the same time, which is quite amazing. Uh, you don't need to uh, send emails back and forth, lose versions. This way you have a, a single version that you can use uh, to, to plan everything. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, and hopefully this is going to make your life a little bit easier.